stelae erected in Hattusa and along the goat paths in the far reaches of your domains tell of the exploits of your grandfather, Hattusili. It was he who united the clans of your people. It was he who first among kings reached the seas. It was he who subdued the lands of Alalak and dethroned the many kings of Arzawa. Who are you to Hattusili? Tarhuna, storm god, is displeased with your reign. Dark clouds come from the west, and the sun's warmth no longer falls upon the land. Your people grow hungry, and the warriors are restless. You must lead them south to raid where no Hittite king has ever stood. Be worthy of your grandfather, so that Stelae may one day tell of the conquests of Mursili, king of Hattusa. Alrighty, folks. Hello and welcome to the Reign of Hittites campaign. We are on Scenario 2, Raid on Babylon. This is probably one of the most brutal and unfair missions I have come across in a little while. Um, essentially, it's a 1v4 um, where we need to capture a Babylonian war chest and return it to camp, which is far more easier said than done. It is a fortified fortress beyond any doubt with like 20 towers defending it so a dash and grab is not it's just not not on the cards so we basically need to hold off and wait for the enemy to run through resources before we can start our campaign let's begin so first things first we want to grab the four um villagers so that we can actually build our base kind of want to be leading with the swordsman rather than the chariots it's easy to lose a chariot in that fight these are the boys we need we're gonna send both the army and the boys to build a base we get to pick up a load of cavalry on the way which is super useful this is where we're gonna build our first base Move that my way. So we're going to build a wall here, which blocks off this pass. Arguably, we could build a wall here. Actually, might be a better option. We want to take over this base as well. Now, a couple of things we need to do is focus very heavily on stone to start things off, which would probably sound a little bit counterintuitive, but it is actually what we need to do. We need to wall off the base. This base has a load of gold which we want to obtain. And we need to basically get to um, a position where we're building horse archers. Horse archers are basically the name of the name of this mission. Once we get into Iron Age, we can start building them. And then we can start controlling this mission. Until then, it's a bit of a defense against the storm. So we are going to want to grab this upgrade as soon as we're able. Right now I can ill afford it. We also need to build a load of houses. Start building some in our own land. Here. Grab one of these guys so I can build a second TC over here. Naturally, I need a hell of a lot of wood though, so let's let's get on wood production. I'm actually gonna build a wall here. I'm gonna wall him off or out. So that actually gives us a little bit more room to play with. Form up our wood eco. Just gonna have to prepare that. It's actually a uh, watchtower we need to take care of over here, and then we're going to use this army to defend ourselves, basically. We're getting more than one. No, okay, that's unfortunate. Probably the best position watchtower you've ever seen. Uh, 
that sorted. We can build a wall here as well. We want to build a wall here. So now essentially we've got two base economy. Now we are going to need a lot of stone. We're going to need to try and essentially wall off both bases, defend both bases. Uh, you guys need to be on the other side of this. The reason we want that base is loads of wood, loads of gold. Before we build this, I need to build a wall here. You guys need to get out. And then we'll build a TC. Runnery. And I also want to build or we'll get this upgrade. It's got no food, so we need to start food eco now. Luckily, we've actually got a bit of wood economy, so we can focus very heavily on that. Want to upgrade the towers, but again, we just need food. So let's build a TC. I'm going to build it here. Actually, that's probably not the best place. Let's delete that and start again. I'm going to build it there, so I can build farms around it essentially. that catapult. Man, I hate priests with a passion. Worst unit in Age of Empires. Anywho, um, we need to really focus heavily on food eco right now. Gold from that one. Need to build housing. So need to build a watchtower like I guess here. So the enemy does run out of resources eventually, um, but they are going to be attacking us pretty much all game long. I say all game long, they're going to be attacking us for a little while. So what we need to do is just defend ourselves until we're in a position where our defences are... ...stand on their own two feet. Really sort out this food eco. It's unlikely the enemy will actually get through here, but we can't take that risk. We def the main thing we want to take care of with this additional army is all the catapults. The towers can actually pretty much defend everything else. So we'll take care of this catapult. Upgrades. We need to start thinking about aging up as soon as we're able, because we can't keep this up indefinitely, unfortunately. Basically, out of stone at this point.
I suppose I'm gonna have to uh, migrate. Set up here. This will be our new main base. Got all this stone that we wanted from that other base anyway. The enemy will spend a while taking that down. There's one other base I want to grab. So when they finish that, so I've got a TC here. Ironically, the enemy's left this alone, so we'll go and re grab some of that. Yeah, we need stone, so hence why I'm going to move to this base. I really wish you could build gates. <laughs> but the, it feels like such an oversight. I'm sure there's probably someone screaming in chat right now saying, Oh yeah, just grab like three walls and it turns it into gate. I'm like, I don't think so. I'm sure they're... No, I don't think gates is a thing in this game. Unfortunately. Need to sort gold out. At least it's not defended. It's all just buying time. Eventually the enemy will run out of resources and we'll be in a fine position. The age up is very important to us. Kinda don't want to buy any troops, even though I can. The reason being, it's all about that age up. We need horse archers. Horse archers are the uh, goats of this mission. So, more farms. Build more farms. Let's upgrade. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, that's cheeky. I can't believe that. Can you believe that shit? Unbelievable. Of course there's one spot I didn't see. No, build the damn wall. <laughs> oh, the game's the ultimate troll, right? Right, Asia. Okay, we need another building. That's fine. 
grab a couple of these guys what's waiting. So I need, I guess, just go with an academy. Just want to build whatever just to get the upgrade. Dun 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 Why are they not attacking that? There's another path into that base. Okay, cool, good to know. I'll close that off in just a sec. At this point, I'll pick up a couple of cav just to deal with these. We got everything we needed from this base anyway. As soon as we get horse archers, this game changes. Horse archers is pretty much the only unit we need outside of a couple of um, uh, catapults. We get all the upgrades anyway, and we'll be uh, killing these fools like there's no tomorrow. Gold is the next problem, which we will sort in a moment. Luckily, we've already secured a base that has loads of gold. Grab this as well, since people have left this alone. Now we have a means to defend ourselves. Lead my army here, deal with these guys. Oh, they sneak in. Oh, whatever.
rebuild that wall actually. Truly gold everywhere around here. Beautiful. What the fuck? I just get converted like instantly. Unbelievable. Priest man. Where? Near him? Oh, you see him, Captain. Right, we're in control of this game now. I don't think there's anything the enemy can do to stop us from winning in this position. We need to build a couple of siege workshops, and then we can start ending this mission. So the uh, artifact we need is right there. We've got all the gold we could ever want. Gold is flowing into the treasury, sire. Got food for days. To upgrade a heavy catapult. Or catapult, I should say. Da, 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 da. Right, we've got too many workers at this point. What I need is catapults. So, stop killing these guys off. I need more, I can build more. But yeah, cat is the only thing I need right now. And close this bad boy out. So when we do um, eventually get the artifact, it is going to trigger all the enemies. And they won't be very happy. We don't actually outrange the turrets, so hence the uh, hence the boys. Grab this upgrade as well. Kill all this off. Oh damn priests! His favourite unit in the game by a country mile. <laughs> Infuriating to play against. This one here.
So we just want to thin the herd of these guard towers. We can pretty much just run in at this point, to be fair. Just want to grab the... take out these final few towers. On this side. And then we can just waltz in. Unfortunately, as good as horse archers are, they're not the most sturdy of units, which is probably a good thing to be fair, because uh, they'd be busted if they were. More than they already are. Damn priests just never stop, do they? Killed a few. Die, priest. Alright, let's go ahead. Grab this. Team Zero. Team Two of Blade Jord. Parts Perfection. Hell. From where? On the other side of the Oh <laughs> That is so annoying. <laughs> wow. Actually, you know at this point we don't need the catapults. Let's pull that team two. Clear a path. Imagine the enemy is having much left, to be honest. He threw everything in the kitchen sink at me earlier, so... <laughs> I suspect they're completely out of resources and all that good stuff. Be all she wrote, boys and girls. GG's. Oi, 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 what a mission. The scribe tells of your victory. Mursili, King of Hattusa, anointed priest of the storm god Tarhuna, steward of the sun god, overlord of the earth, marched on Babylon on the road no king had ever taken, and defeated the lords of Babylon of number no less than 50, and took captives numbering no less than 2,000. He carried off to Hattusa oxen, ingots of bronze and copper, and the god Marduk of Babylon. Of the oxen he made sacrifices to the gods who were pleased with his devotions. Alrighty folks, well that'll wrap it for this challenging, challenging mission. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.